Curious how to get inside the shielded area in Navia Bay, known as the Navia Ecological Garden? Well, if you gotten curious and flew over to it after progressing far enough in the story, well, you kind of see that it sends you to the bottom where you can access the lock mechanism, which requires us to do some hidden quests, which we will cover in this video, so stick around. When on top and looking on the inside, you can clearly see some juicy loot, along with the SSR relic, the Colossal Arms. And if you're looking to reach 100% map exploration in Navia, this is a requirement as the crates inside counts towards the checklist. Or if you're just interested in getting what's inside, then you've come to the right place. Now, starting from the bottom at the lock mechanism, you will see three symbols which you will need to turn green in order to unlock access to the ecological garden. To do so, we're going to need to align three satellite relay stations to the garden, which are visible at the bottom of the garden's lock mechanism for easy scouting and tracking. But it's not that simple to align them. There are hidden side quests that are mandatory in order to receive a vital component for a relay, which we will get to now. The first hidden quest we need to complete is the Hyena Secret Base, which is located far west of Banjas and northwest of Astra, which can be located here on the map via my player icon at the left, and here is Banjas port for reference to my location. Talk to the NPC and follow the dialogue through until the chat is finished, as your selection won't really matter here and the choice is just for flavor text. Once finished, the next part of the quest requires you to speak to Loswell in Port Banja. Simply transport over or cruise along the coastline to pick up exploration opportunities that our time gate is such as crates and nucleus that you may have missed. Alright, once you arrive at Port Banja, head up the stairs and to the plaza. Loswell is the robotic NPC that wanders this general area and can be spotted relatively easily. Speak to Loswell and exhaust his dialogue. Once finished, all we now need to do is head back to the rig where we can now speak to the guard again with different dialogue, but this time the choices matter. The answers are to be the most liberal hyena and for the most liberal hyena. And that's it. We now have access to the first rig. Jump up and grab the crate and claim your reward. Now it's off to the second rig for the next part of the quest. The next rig is located far northwest of Navia. Once you arrive, speak to the guard. The correct answers are, I'm here for the carnival, hyena queen, this is the seventh hyena carnival and the heirs of Ada, of course. Once you are in, look for small ear and speak to begin another hidden quest line for a password to access a secret area in the Warren. Video soon to come. Our main objective here is Morgley, which will request an ice strawberry soda. This item can be attained fairly easily by cooking. If you don't have the recipe, no worries. We only need to gather a few key ingredients and we're good to go. The first major ingredient is honey. This can be obtained by destroying needle bee nests, which can be located all throughout the playable map. Finishing off the angry swarm of needle bees may reward you with a single honey per bee. It's safe to say to go ahead and collect at least five of these for this video, so go ahead and collect five. All right, next up is strawberry for the next key ingredient on the list. These can be found in abundance in Navia along the Warren Mountainside Cliff. Now, the map is open for reference and here is the general location. Gather five strawberries at least for this recipe as well. The last ingredient is carbonated water. This can be purchased from food vendors fairly cheap in any major settlement. Purchase five of these as well.
And if you don't have the recipes, no worry. Head over to a cooking machine and click the creation button at the bottom. Load up all five of the ingredients we just gathered, which will increase our success rate to 100% and begin the cooking. All right, it's time to head back to Rig FC 11 with our soda. Speak to Morgley and exhaust his dialogue. He will reward you with a key component to completing the repairs on a relay. After that, it's time to finally head off to repair the relays. As mentioned earlier in the video, each relay can be seen from the lake. Simply look around and head over to one nearby. For the video, I will be starting at the Southern Tower. Now, to repair the Southern Tower, we need tool sets. Reading the data on the console states that he orders five, but to complete the quest, we only need two. To obtain these tool tool sets, we need to purchase two fine gifts. Open your bag and click on currency. The fine gifts can be purchased using the energy crystal dust and training points from each of their respective stores. Click on the icon to the right of the currency to take you to the shop and purchase two of these fine gifts. If you don't have energy dust or any training points, you can obtain energy dust by spending vitality points by doing interstellar missions, dimensional trials, and joint operations. Training points are obtained by doing the training nodes found around the world. They reward various amounts of points at various difficulties as well. After spending your points to get the fine gifts, open your bag and open the boxes. Select the tool sets and get two of them. They will now appear in your gift tab at the bottom right. Begin repairing the three servers. Two are inside and one on the outside. And once that is done, head back to the navigational panel and activate the device. And there we are, tower aligned. We are now off to the next tower. Each can be seen from one another, which is nice. But for this video, we're headed for the Northwest Tower. For the tower on the Northwest, all you need to do is type in the password 5972 on the console and then activate the device. Once that is done, it is time to head to the Eastern Relay. We are now on our way to the Eastern Relay. I decided to teleport over to Cetus Island and rode down the wiring to get there. Once inside, approach the console and repair using the components we received earlier from Morgley. Once it's done, head over to the terminal behind and activate the console, and there we are. 
All three relays align and all symbols green. We can now head down to the lock mechanism and use it to teleport to the garden. Alright everyone, and that's it. Thank you for watching.